Welcome to the Windows Computer Technology Channel. And for those that are asking the questions about 24H2, and I've installed, of course, the uh, release preview I also have, and it's part of 24H2, the Canary build. And, um, of course, a lot of the questions are, are, are about, you know, the user interface, and uh, the questions come like, is there a way, well, did they fix, you know, the, the way that, the start menu acts and works and is it better uh, did they improve it does it look more more like windows 10 now uh short answer nothing or pretty much not a lot has changed in all of this and it is something interesting um it is something that you know we're still a little far away and i'm sure there are some hidden features that are maybe not turned on but it's surprising how it seems that most of the work has gone to probably making the famous recall feature and having all the ai features um work much more than anything else because when you look at the menus when you look at the different options uh, for now, I can't say there's really much of a difference. Um, the the menus are the same, act the same, react the same. Um, still, you know, empty spaces and and things that there's very little that you can do about. And it makes me wonder, of course, as to up to what point um, it's a big feature update for regular users um they have talked over time about tons of features and things that they wanted to bring us and it became apparent over time that a lot of them were now going towards the powerful computers that will run the the qualcomm chips and have you know the npus which means that for a regular user, if you're on Windows 11, there's not really that much change that's going to happen. There's there definitely is, but there's not a lot of it, and it's mostly you know hidden within the settings, within the menus. Um, if we take into account that it was advertised as a huge update, it will I think disappoint many um, in that respect. If you have a standard PC like I do, um, you know, at first I even double checked to see if the uh, it was really 24H2 that was installed because I, I could barely see any difference. So um, <laughs> that definitely isn't a good thing necessarily when you talk about a big feature update, but that in reality it's not that big at all. But once again, you know, are some features still turned off and will be turned on at some point? That's the question here. The um, other thing about a lot of people asking me, uh, will this be working on unsupported machines? Yeah, it will. It will, definitely. Um, if you are running right now Windows 11 on an unsupported machine, um, you'll be able to go to 24H2 now, not through Windows Update, because remember, that's not how it works. It's not going to be offered to you because you're unsupported, but using the usual tricks, um, creating a image with um, Rufus, and then from that USB thumb drive, you're going to um, you know, upgrade and install Windows 11 24H2. Uh, that definitely will work, but it's a work that you'll have to do yourself in order for it to, uh, to uh, exist, coexist. But yeah, unsupported will still work on 24H2. Which, you know, brings us to what 25H2 is going to be like. Um, it seems that we're going into different directions, and uh, we're going to talk about the hardware also. There's a, a question I'm asking myself also about hardware, and we're going to do that in the next video. So, um, if you were hoping for major changes in the start menu and how everything works, I think that we're, you're in for maybe a big disappointment with uh, Windows 11 24H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.